Lights. And for the second time tonight, it is lights out and away we go. It's a good start from the Aston Martin, but an even better start from Hayden Goddess who gets the lead into turn one. He has worked so hard to get back into that lead after the heartbreak of the, the safety heartbreak of the safety car period. But TJD going to come back at him down into a row at Rouge. They're going to battle Hayden. Can seize the position ever so slightly back onto the ERS. Up O Rouge through the Kemmel straight. Just about getting overspeed through there. Will the Ferrari be able to get for the Real Madrid goalkeeper down into Lacombe? Goes Hayden Gullis. Just about Gullis goes into the back of the Aston Martin. And he's going to lose a position as well to Darian Alfie, surely. Through Lacombe. Ox is now up at a P9. And he's on the back of the Merck. So keep an eye out for him. He, he says you could uh, restart this race all day long. And I'll still continue to get my way through the field. Lap one off of the Ferrari driver Dirk Chocolate has gone round but where's Alex Albon back through at uh, Blanche well there's Dirk Chocolate turned around all of this uh, controversy surrounding his position and unfortunately he spins on the first really, lap we'll but save a goal like that Oxy's now battling it out with conflicted and they've complied and they're in the fence together and Ox is out they are, and that's Ox out the race and that could be a safety goal it is going to be a safety goal will it be the game to go up to However, Hayden as well too in a second sorry to cut you off because that's also another bre a battle brewing so Ferrari's everywhere I'll keep an eye on that one if you want because uh, Hayden's still a little bit too far back we're on board here with Hayden putting a bit happened. of pressure of course on the back there off Thibaut thinks about one down the inside and in fact it's going to the Williams who thinks about one on Thibaut Courtois oh, Thibaut just a little bit deep there that might invite the Williams and the Red Bull a bit of attention to this as it's still a battle raging on it looks like conflicted might just have a little loss for pace here as they roar up to the Kemmel straight he actually looked a little bit more threatening as he headed up over Rouge not quite able uh, to get the overspeed through there and actually it's going to no, invite who's got a little bit wide there that's Dan Dan has made a little bit of a mistake couldn't break in time that's allowed Alex now to put pressure on the back of the Ferrari that's a battle for P11. And oh, he's locked up himself. He's going to go for a little bit of a spin. He's on the racing line. He's going to get out of there as quickly as possible. He's going to have a lot of cars coming around too for now. Manages to get back on the track. They've avoided him, but he's dropped all the way down to P14. Make that almost P15 at this point. Move from the Red Bull. He certainly goes a giant. Blanchemont is going to be such a brave place to overtake. He's going to go around the outside. This could be quite special in the wet. He thinks against it in the end. I think the bus stop certainly a better opportunity still now, now to around. fend off his teammates as well. This is incredible stuff from the three of them, from the six of them actually. Now the two Red Bulls are side by side. It's going to be Dirk Chocolate on the outside into the source. Just about gets ahead of oh, his Darren. team. And a safety car. Yeah. Full safety cars being deployed, so now it's a gamble. Are uh, they coming around right now to making a decision or what? Are you going to go into the pit lane entrance? Will they do it? No, I don't think so. Yes! I'm they are. It looks like softs, mate. I'd say softs. Absolutely. You're going to have about two laps of racing left, so uh, the only real option here is going to bunch up the pack and make it even more interesting for these guys. And uh, Keeper of Tebow. Up at a P8. Solid Here he goes then. TJD has gone and immediately with Alex Albon gets into fifth position. Hayden Gunnis challenges for second position. And this is going to be a battle. Surely is unfortunately spun around and into 12th position and not quite out of the race, but pretty much out of contention. Hallam Oilot's going to try and challenge Hayden Gunnis into a very lofty fourth position with Alex Albon, of course. Gets way through as you expected. Esports PPR. Look at this at the moment. Darren putting as much pressure as he possibly can. I know there might be a bit of movement between P7 and P8, but Darren wants it on TJD right now. As they're going to make their way all the way down the hill, Blutchmont. Go to try and steal the win at the last opportunity on TJD. No, DRS is going to be allowed for the duration of this race. Of course, it was wet for the majority of it, and then we haven't had enough now to be so close. Maybe a dive down the inside, he will think about it, but just about able to break later is TJD as they head now down into no name corner. It is still the lead for the Aston Martin. You can't do that! You can't do that! Look, he's going to spin and throw this one away! Darren, that's just too risky on a high racing line like that. I don't know. That's one for the marshals, but uh, Stuart's my apologies. But uh, Aston Martin, who just about... Well, one more corner to go. Finishes ahead of Hayden Gullis if he just about gets the power down. He does. It's been the most difficult race of his life, but TJD is going to get the win. Scruffy finishes P4 in the end ahead of Wiz Alex race, But for now... There's one man you have to look at, isn't it? As he makes his way, walking down with a smile on his face, of course, pointing up in the air. And Aston Martin is back on the top step here in Spa. More drama, however.